Hi, Anna. Uh, don't stress out. I suspect you might be overcomplicating this for yourself. First of all, uh, I would suggest using the gray background. Uh, the green background, I mean, I, it does correspond with the labels, but somehow this is a bit more sexy. I would go with this. You've got a good beginning here. Now, don't start, you know, um, jumping between your octo box and your regular soft box. Use your regular soft box so, so that you get a nice window shape, kind of like you're getting right here. See this? So light from the right side, that's fine. Or, or, go, or go from the left side with your key even, with a soft box. Go from the left side so it kind of hits here and hits here. Set up a passive reflector to, um, you know, fill in areas like this here. Okay, like down here we're getting shadows. And then um, maybe set up a honeycomb or a snoot or a cinefoil so that you get a real um, specular light. And light the edge like you have it here, but from three quarters back like so. Light up that edge so it separates from the background. Um, if you're feeling ambitious, um, move this whole setup further from the background. If you're feeling ambitious, um, instead of lighting the edge three quarters back, um, you could light the background from this side because this will be the shadow side. If you're coming in with a key light from here, if you're coming in with a key light, it'll be hitting here and hitting here, and then you'll be getting a shadow side here. So you light up the background with a spot, or you can place the spot in back of this. That would be very sexy, like a, just a spot. But you got to move this stuff away from the background more. Then you can kind of um, project the spot in back. Um, you know, I should probably do a little post-production thing for you, but I haven't done it yet. But I'm trying to get you to visualize this. I want to show you this. I don't know if I showed you this before. Here is this is. A sample of what we did in assignment 2 part B with that edge lighting. I'm talking about the edge lighting from the right. Same thing here, that edge lighting from the right, three quarters back. Here you're getting a little, a little bit of specular light to define the object. The soft light from the soft box is coming in from this side. So maybe do the same thing here. You might want to take the soft box from this side, the key, the key, you know, the key light. Then set up a passive fill with a huge white card here, maybe a little towards the front more. That'll give like a highlight here to define the, this front. And then either use a cinefoil snoot or grid to project, a, pop a spot back here, or just here on the edge of the background to on the shadow side, or put this kind of edge here. You know, it might work better that way for you. So don't overcomplicate it. Use one softbox, one passive reflector, and then one specular light. Use, you know, make doing it with a honeycomb, snoot, or a constructed cinefoil, or even a barn door, so that it just catches the edge of this or catches the background, or just or throw a spot on the background. You, you can do a lot with this gray, you know, black gray background. Um, okay, see where that takes you. I think I think you have the correct formatting. Yep, you do. If you have any further questions, uh, shoot me an email email to ask me to call you, and uh, we'll take it from there. Okay. All right, Anna, you're you're gonna be fine. Take care.